Freaky Table is brought to you by Nikki Hits Beauty Studio, Bona Musadi, Duala, and Jungle Hop, Boya. Hello everybody, my name is Joan, Yana Kuo are joining me in the house. Welcome on Freaky Table. We are extremely happy to be here today. And shout out to all our fans, our viewers across the world. Today we are talking Grammy win. Two additional winners in Africa, Burner Boy and Whiskey from Nigeria. And we are all excited about those two wins. However, they are old winners, <laughs> Grammys. But today, what is the significance of these two new wins? to African music, and that's what we're going to be charting. I know lots of you sent out tweets and say, Freaky Table, why are you guys not talking about it? So we decided to do. So welcome, guys. You guys look, uh, huh, okay, very colorful, with the hat. Yeah. Great, energy, energy. What's going on? What it. happened over the weekend? Yeah. What's going on with you guys? Did someone break your, okay, no, nobody break this person's <laughs> out. <laughs> nobody break this person's out. Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> this guy was partying all night. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> let me not say it. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> welcome, 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 yeah. welcome, welcome. So, by I would have said congratulations. Unfortunately, we did not win Grammy. Mm -hmm. And we are not from Nigeria either. But we are Africans, so we can celebrate. Africa, yes. who? So, Bonner Boy Whiskey, two new uh, Grammy winners, yeah. when, when the wins came out, the announcements came up, I saw how Bonaboy, how excited he was and his entire family. Whiskey was tweeting, you know, but how excited were you guys or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was. I mean, um, for, 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 for Bonaboy and of course Whiskey, you know, Whiskey went through the door of Beyonce, so obviously. <laughs> 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 obviously, as an honorary member of the Carter family. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, no, no, so, <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah so I, I was definitely happy i think i think um it was quite um i mean africans have have, have won grammys before but um so this is this is not new um but but winning global um, um album yeah. it's it's a big deal it and it, it's something that is like we've been poised to see it because it's been it's been in the works, yeah. you know. The, uh, Bonner Boy has put in the work. Um, Whiskey was was the surviving ingredient for um, Brown Skin Girl. So yeah. yeah, it was it was pretty. Good. It was it was a good feeling, and I loved his excitement. I mean, Bonner Boy. Oh yeah. And, oh, and, and he made it completely Igbo. Yeah, you know. He's <laughs> like he's like oh we are native. We are going to celebrate yeah. it, our native mm. star. I mean wait, I mean Whiskey and Bonner Boy. A yeah. couple of tweets that have been going on. Obviously everybody is excited. Nigerians are. Yeah. So Super excited yeah. about it. But I felt there was something about their win that mm -hmm. like caught my attention. The fact that they were urban artists. Yes. You know, we've had like like the Richard Bonas, yeah. the, the guys from South yeah. Africa, Angelique Kijo, yeah. who are not really like urban yeah. artists. But you see two young people whom we saw grow up like musically, yeah. and then they come and win such so, so big awards. I mean, yeah. Grammy is like the biggest award for yeah. any artist in yeah. the world. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, what is the significance of this win? Mm -hmm. to African music. First of all, maybe to Nigerians, because I'm looking like, you know, nice one sang that, I go bring you those Grammy yeah. things today, we'll never see well. Someone was cracking a joke, <laughs> saying, well, uh, well, I mean, it's not like nice, it's like, it's like nice I've been putting, putting the path for these two people to win the Grammy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was a significance of this to you. I mean, first, first, I mean, first of all, you have to look at the, the type of artists. These are young people who have, lasted, who have been in the game for over 10 years. So first of all, it's the consistency, the work, and it's it's some sort of uh, blue check to whatever they what to what um, um, blue check mark to what they've been doing, but also it's some it's symbolic. It shows how the growth of African music through these guys who have been there through these years, and also shows where the music can really go. But to me, I I, I, I when I when I looked at at, 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 the, at the at the at the winners and where they come from, there's something common. Yeah. International record labels are backing them. The big record labels are backing them, so which means, first of all, the thing, the, the first, the, my first impression was, well, their work is paying off in Africa because mm -hmm. they started getting into Africa in 2000, the, the late 2000s, mid 2000s, mm -hmm. they started getting into Africa, and with the work they've put, they've been putting in, right now it's paying off. But then my question is, can our local artists do it without the backing of record labels? Good question. That's the first question. The second is. This, these record labels recognize the talent. So the talent is not, we're not like, we, this, is, there's no lack of talent. The talent is there. But then now, what can, what can, how can this talent push, you know, beyond the backing of record labels? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, with what, with what Whiskey did, I think, um, first of all, with, with how, with his tradition of his career, 
it's an inspiration with the background. Bonaboy comes from, 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 a, from a music family. Mm -hmm. Whiskey comes from, let's put it, the streets. Mm -hmm. So you are seeing two people from different backgrounds having the same recognition at the same time with the work they've put in. So, yes, it's, it's I mean, some sort of validation for the work they've put in yeah. and also the fact that no matter where you come from, you can really get there, but it takes consistency, redefining your art, because when Whiskey started, it was mostly typical Nigerian sound. Yeah. Then when he evolved now, he, he took his sound global. So, it's, so it has like, he almost has two personalities. Starboy is like for Nigerian music, mm -hmm. then Whiskey is like for international you know, international space, um, yeah. international space. Yeah. and then but with the burnout, with it twice as tall, like a longer said, it also been the works, because when he, when when the African giant lost out to Angelique Kijo, I think the, 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 you know, yeah. it, it, you could see the effort in the marketing, the, the appearances, the international media appearances, also the the the, 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 the campaign to get mm. him where to, to to get him the grant because it it looks very intentional. Mm. I mean, there's no you, you you if you're getting PDD on the record. Timbaland and, and and you know the, and you these heavy pieces. heavy producers. Therefore, you, this this stuff this there's some sort of uh, lobbying along the line. Like okay, yeah. you know what? Well, see, this guy is doing this, and you know there's a stunt he put when he released um um um, 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 um twice twice, I think, twice a stall, where this he was on the show hosted by this act. I I forgotten her name, but there was a, a, a baby reveal, mm -hmm. and they got Burner Boy to reveal the baby for a Nigerian family. It's a huge show in the US. So the, the stunt was he came on the show, and then the, the, the it was a boy. So, so it's like it's almost like a play on Burner Boy and the Boy, and then from there he talked about his album. Yeah. Then he got interviews. So you see, he, he created a lot of awareness about the album, and he drove. This, I mean, he, he got a lot of critics to criticize the album and see where, how, what the album could really um, stand um, stand in the play in, in terms of in terms of um, the message, in terms of 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 of, of the cultural value. So I mean, yeah. he, he had all of that in the album, and yeah. So. Right, Elongi, I want to ask you, right? Um, that comes up from what uh, Yana was saying. Do you yeah. think that Burner Boy's album, Twice as Tall, would have won a Grammy without the backing of PDD uh, being a major producer on the on the album? And then Whiskey, do you think that Whiskey's songs on his own could have won the Grammy if it was if he didn't do a collaboration with Beyonce on Brown Skin Girl? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a tough question. I, I, I mean, it's. Um, I think that it's strategic. You know, yeah. um, it's not a question of would it. It's strategic. At uh, music, it's um, the marketing and promotion. Is, it's very, very strategic. Um, what this shows us is that with music, you need promotion and the right plug. Yep. Cool. You know, you get what uh, um, 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 puff, puffy. Um, Producing, executive producing your your album, um, he made the vow that that album would get a Grammy. Now, you know what it means to have him. The, the connections that he has, you are yes. tapping into his own network. Yes. You know, he. I mean, he's cool with everybody in the, in the industry. Profit is cool with everybody. He gets Timbaland. You talk about a producer who produced for Mike Jackson. You get him who is produced for Beyonce. You get him to produce this. And then you get the beat record label. Uh, uh, Warner. You, well, you have first of all Atlantic, Atlantic yeah. which is Warner. big. Then you have Warner. Warner also distributes for the cutters. You can imagine the the range mm -hmm. that you are able. Remember, Grammy has its politics too. Yeah. There is a lot of lobbying. I mean, it has shown. Now. I mean, what even with is? with artists who are much more established in um, um, America, not much more established than Burna Boy and um, Whiskey. But I'm saying, you know, under even those big record levels yeah. you see the politics that that is going on so I I, I, I think that with the, with the kind of popularity that the, the, the music the, the do afro beat has that it is possible even probable that they can win the Grammy but that it would not be an easy process as it is with having the support of these record labels and because at the end of the day the music is there i also happened to think that african giant was a better album to try I, that's strong. what i wanted to ask <laughs> you that you have, i thought you know, i thought african I giant was better than than, than, than twice as was, was more was more was more strategic like along yeah. about strategy it was more strategically placed yeah. to win an award but african giant was vibe but yeah. this, this was more this, I think but I, I, I think yeah. that I think that African you know when you have like you do something and people don't see that mm -hmm. and then somebody else come and put money on something mm -hmm. small and, and then you do it commission. they now recognize the a lot of work that you've yeah. been putting and then recognize that little I mean, thing I think the African giant paved the way for exactly yeah, yeah. To because, because I think I think if if if, if this, they saw African giants okay well okay this um, this was almost there but then allergic killed it then he comes in now 
with um, another body of work. Mm -hmm. so, so, like, your, 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 your like, argument... You know what? I said I was African Chinese. Uh, no, nah, I'm twice as tall. twice as tall. Yeah, yeah, you know, so, yeah. the message, <laughs> the, the album was his message in, in, in itself. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the promotion of that album was, was extraordinary. Yeah, was yes. I mean, Ooh. Bonaboy Boy was on all TV um, and radio programs. Just I like mean, I'm, I'm saying the, the, like, the, 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 the programs that really matter. Jimmy Kimmel. That, that Jimmy make, Kimmel yes, yeah. everywhere, everywhere, yeah. everywhere, yeah. everywhere. So That was really um, great. But I think it's also some validation of Afro, not validation, but it, it just shows Afrobeat is really to the Afro, it's really Afrobeat to the world. You know, there's always this thing Afrobeat, it's, it's, it's just really it right now. Because right now, you, you, you're also seeing a lot of collaborations between African artists, who and, 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 and those in the West. Mm -hmm. But Afrobeat is really leading because most of the artists have really gotten the international collaborations with, with, at, 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 at a certain wide rate, mm -hmm. at, a wide, at a wider range, Afro, uh, Afrobeat artists. But then, it, it, this, this at, in a, in, in a, uh, um, at another level, it, it sort of draws more attention from, um, from, uh, towards Africa. Yeah from those in, in different countries, because they may, they may be on the underground record labels who want to do other strategic work, even streaming platforms, mm -hmm. who want to say, okay, we can partner with these artists from these regions mm -hmm. who, who have the potential to grow. Because with the increasing, I'm just going to diverge a little bit, but with, with the increasing competition with, with amount of record labels that are getting to Africa right now, mm -hmm. we have to see a case where record labels may want, and not in record labels, um, streaming platforms rather, mm -hmm. may want to partner with local artists, put them on the platform, and then now partner Further now, further the partnership with record labels now, with international record labels. So, so this now just exposes them. This what we now call exposure. Yeah. Are you are you seeing attention. are you seeing streaming plat platforms already doing that? No, 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 no. I'm not really seeing that. I'm saying I, I'm anticipating that because of how of how the, the because of the, the known um, 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 uh, uh, difficulties in the African market in terms of streaming, in terms of data, in terms of in terms of distribution. Distribution, yes, you can. You, now you um, Spotify and, and Audio Mac, Boomplay in, in Africa, but the issue is data. Somebody, can, how many people really want to stream like that? You know, Audio Mac has fifty million users in Africa, right? Mm -hmm. But then now, those, those other platforms are still fighting for market share. How do you fight for that without you making a strong connection from the ground up? Mm -hmm. Because you want to do okay. Everybody, everybody can reduce price their prices for, 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 for those who want to sign up. Everybody can, can partner with telcos for, for data bundles. But then how do you build the community? How do you grow the community? It's by you now building from the ground up with the local artists. Mm -hmm. Because you're, you're, it's, 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 it's not you bringing a foreign... A foreign what, what, what I'm asking is, yeah. what would be the, the use of a record label mm -hmm. if the streaming platforms can just, I mean, the record level then acting as a middleman yeah. in, in it. So no, what, 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 what I'm saying so is because like now, Universal has already partnered with um, Boomplay to yes. get their, 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 to increase, to widen their distribution. Yeah, I understand that as partnerships. I understand that as partnerships, but record labels leading the partnerships towards um, streaming platforms. But I mean, you see, you see it happening. Yeah. Um, uh, even with Tidal, yeah. you, you can imagine that most of the artists that are signed under Rock Nation mm -hmm. and under yeah. um, the get, management of, yeah, of Rock Nation uh, get dis um, distribution from yeah. from Tidal. So I'm asking, yeah. what what would be uh, you are you are suggesting kind of a reverse yeah. of how the 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 whole thing would go? So um, you have streaming platforms. It's interesting, I'm saying it's an interesting perspective yeah. that streaming platforms could actually cut the, the position of record, record levels yes. and start, you know, Do signing, yeah. playing the role of record yeah, because levels. Because okay, this, 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 my, this, my, this, my view, because one, this, this artist already have the platforms, right? They, they, now we have a lot of artists creating records on their own because Which of the, no, creating records on their own because of the because of the, how accessible the tools are. Mm -hmm. You know, you you could just maybe jump on the on the on the, on the platform, generates maybe an, a, 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 record, a beat for you, and you jump and you, you sing on it. So the, 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 the logistics to produce music have have, have really been been been, re, been 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 opened up to anybody to to, to the average artist. Mm -hmm. But right That's now, right. sorry, so the the, the 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 reason why um, this is tricky for me is because. We see yeah. that um, Bonner Boy, mm -hmm. for example, and Whiskey get to this position via connections um, and affiliations yeah. to, to big names and yeah. record levels, um, big distribution partners. And it, it definitely suggests yeah. that our artists mm -hmm. here who do not have that type of network, who do not have the type of connections, who largely yeah. in spite of the tools of the internet and streaming and yeah. all that remain in, uh, independent mm -hmm. cannot at the same time claim the same kind of 
power. Okay, that's what, that, that's what that's what that's what that's what suggesting that mm. we, if if these streaming platforms are able to establish partnership at mm. at, so at the local level, they, they, with, with the structures that they have, distribution structures mm. just within their platform, yeah. and also with, with 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 how they can push their music. I'm saying with furthering the partnership now mm. with record labels mm. in, the, in terms of furthering it in such a way you, you can say okay you get the backing and the lobbying because these streaming platforms have the numbers the record labels need mm. they have now the artists the product that the record labels need themselves mm. and it's a market in africa which needs more which which a lot of these record labels are still trying to get to penetrate and also ex, expand their tentacles call it that. <laughs> <laughs> all right but let's bring it back home yeah. um i know last year um mm -hmm. beyonce's album the lion king i think yeah. it was nominated last year for the grammys it lost Unfortunately, does that also make the, you know Salatia was on that album? Does that make Salatia a Grammy nominee? Nominee? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think. I, do you think Salatia? 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 Uh, the album? I don't know how the the album thing was done, but I think that for album of the year, it's it's more for producers and. I, I think it, 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 I think if, if she won, she he would have gotten credits yeah, because he featured on it. I think she, he would have gotten credits. Yeah. So we'll but I don't think I don't think he would have gotten the award itself like that. So it's not a Grammy nominee. No, it's not. Okay. So we wanted to just you know, no, it's not. wanted to just make sure that we're on the same. It's not. It's not. <laughs> so Richard Bonner, at least back home in Cameroon, mm -hmm. we've talked about all the the, the implications of of the Grammy, yeah. the impact of it on the growth of African music in general, yeah. especially urban music. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Cameroon, like home, mm -hmm. urban music, does that Grammy win, those two Grammy wins, does it affect anything here? Does it impact anything? Would it change anything at all for our artists? Inspiration? Yeah. I, I, I mean, think, MT, MT, I think, I think we, um, MTV did it inspire anything for um, Grammys to, to let's inspire? Let's focus on Richard Bonner. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with, 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 with Richard Bonner, um, I think, I think, I think, yeah. yes, inspiration yes. is one. Do we have any Grammy nominee, Grammy winner? Because Richard Bonner says he's not a Cameroonian. He is a Grammy winner. He won it as a Cameroonian. He won it as a Cameroonian. <laughs> <laughs> <There's, there's, laughs> that time was a Cameroonian. And multiple, multiple nominations for him too. Yeah, over the years. Um, I think that Richard Buna, remember, the Afrobeat has been snubbed for a very long time. Rem the Grammys and the, the, the market, the, the, the Western market, yeah. is just catching up mm -hmm. to, to it and giving it its place. Yeah. And Bonner Boy's win is, is solidifying that thing that they are finally catching up. It's Afrobeat has always been good to, to, to the ear, right? Mm -hmm. But now it's, they are catching up. And so with Richard Buna was doing the is doing the type of music that um, the, the type of music that is Grammy friendly, the kind of Angeli, Angelique Kijo mm -hmm. kind of music that the stereoty stereotypical Grammy voter mm -hmm. thinks that this is African, African music, African the drums music and, 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 and the deep sound. Yeah, you get it. That, so yeah. the instrumentation, the thing that that's Africa, you can even have a lion roaring. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what they have carries on the floor. <laughs> you know, that's Africa. As, as African <laughs> music. That, it, should be, it should be folkloric <laughs> in, a, in its sound yeah. and all that. So that's why the win of Afrobeat actually of, of Bonaboy looks at more urban genres yeah. of, of African music yeah. taking um, taking over. I do not. What was the question? <laughs> Does it impact anything? Would you change? Anything I, I don't think that Richard Bonas um, this because for, the type of music he does is very niche. Mm -hmm. That it's not urban in terms of it's not very popular okay. um, in that sense. So. It, it might inspire in terms of okay, I can work hard and and get here. But in terms of, I, do, I don't see it as does influence the type of music yeah. that is coming. Is so Bonner Boys the, win is influences it, more. It, 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 yeah, it has it the potential of influencing more. In fact, that is a music that is is a reigning genre yeah. now, and so you know you can see people replicate that. Um, and just more. just to add add to that, the fact that yes. Beyonce Elizabeth Teke can. You know. <laughs> Just, just to add. No, people don't suffer, but that woman don't suffer. <laughs> 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 oh but I think that at this point, with, with Bonner Boy's win yeah. and, and, you know, whiskey, you, you, the fact that you're really listening to Brown Skin Girl, yeah. he has Afrobeat. And yeah. The whole album was all about, mm. you know, Afrobeat. Uh, yeah, uh, but but what, the question is, do you think that yeah. at this point, yeah. Fela Kuti, the late, mm. you know, Fela Kuti, who actually the founder of Afrobeat, um, should he be included in the Hollywood Hall of Fame? He has been. He has? Yeah, last year now. In Doctors in the uh, Rock and Roll. Wait, wait, was he, he or was he nominated? No, he was in Doctors in the Rock and Roll. This, 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 I think this, this, this is a nomination. Should be given a lifetime. Right now. Because, yeah, there is a nomination right, right now saying that he should be inducted into the Hollywood Hall be, of Fame. No, he, I'm saying Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll. Yes, it's Rock he, and Roll. He is, 
inducted in the rock and roll. I, I think I, I saw I saw that somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. You guys should search for that one. Yeah, I think yeah. that because I think it's been nominated right now that it should yeah. be inducted into it. Yes. But, that but Nigerians, are, Nigerians are really on Twitter. You're saying saying Hollywood Rock, rock of Fame so or, so or you say rock, 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 rock and Roll. Rock and Roll. Is it Rock? Focus. Hall of Fame. <laughs> 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 but anyway, the last, yeah. co you know, we've discussed it. congratulations to Bonner Boy and Whiskey, Nigeria yeah, and, know, and Africa. But the question now is that yeah. which Cameroonian artist at this point, do you see whose music is heading towards Grammy win? Oh, damn. Or should we start with MTV Bass first? Yeah. <laughs> I'm done with that. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, 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 <laughs> okay, Grammy win. Which, at this moment, like right now, which Cameroonian artist do you see his music, his or her music, heading towards a Grammy win? With the, open, with the doors now open to Afrobeat and African music? I think Salatia, without a doubt, um, um, first of all, he has a body of work that is, um, I, I don't, it's body of work. yeah, it's actually a body, <laughs> a body of work. Um, he has a lot of the ingredients that can make for, uh, can have international traction that mm -hmm. can build um, in, instead of solid collaborations, whether you see artists who are potential winners like Sotisol itself yeah. being part, part of that album and, and that's too. From Katie. Yes, okay. yes, and the one Michelle. that it, it, Michelle and, and Tenny and so uh, it has, it has a lot of the ingredients. It has a lot of soulfulness. <laughs> um, I don't know, I, 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 but for Salatel, I do not think that because I do not see our artists being nominated for, because of the record levels they are signed under, being nominated for other categories, but for the type of global, international categories yeah. like global album and all of that. So you cannot, I don't see them for um, um, song of the year, record of the year, of course, because they are not signed to certain record levels. Um, but for Salatiel, it's, it's really hard. I mean, the frontliners in, in our music industry will be um, Jovi, he seems completely disinterested in awards or any form of recognition. Um, um, Stanley Eno, increasingly does bad music. Um, he just released Oh Yeah, which with Pity Pay, which um, that is anything but Grammy worthy. I think it's um, underwhelming because you, I mean, you expect that with Pity Pay on the record. It's not underwhelming, it's deplorable. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's well, not, we it's, low, not, it's, not it's not, it's not, it's not, I'm just saying if, if, if that is a front line yeah. for what we have. Yeah. As, Mr. As, Leo, as, we have Mr. That, Leo, I, I, I also don't think, I think that they become continuously monotonous in, in their sound and that, but it's possible that this, I mean, Mr. Leo and Daphne have a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. I, I see a lot of potential in, in um, Gasha, yeah. yes. um, in the type of music but she does, if, if, if she, she has my cup of tea. <laughs> 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 yeah, right, but, but I, I really think, I really think in jo Jovi, like if he just gets interested, he can he can get there with the kind of sound he does, with the type of sound he does. If he gets really and interested, and I think there is somebody who is sleeping on Sango Edi. Oh, I think that with, with what he's doing with Marco Sango. Yes, yeah. I think that's somebody yeah. who are yeah. really sl <coughs> sleeping on. Um, sleeping. <laughs> wait, wait, put it that way. <laughs> wait, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's really on here, but Let me stay quiet. It, so far, I think his song is one of the best that I've listened to this yeah, year. Really and, great, yes. great, it, great. It, and the campaign too, because what he did, he did some sort of documentary yeah. towards the towards the song, and then it it it, it, shot, it just drove the idea. Of I mean, you know, at first, I've spoken to him a couple of times, even mm. doing his interviews and yeah. stuff. He always says that he's never seen himself as you know an artist like that, yeah. like he puts himself side to side, maybe local and all yeah. these artists. But what he's doing, really, mm. even the, the frontliners. I'm not even doing that. Yes, you know, I, they, I also they, add that everything perhaps, that he's perhaps, doing. Perhaps, 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 perhaps I might be. Phone. Perhaps I might be. I may mean, be holding um, artists like Stanley to higher standards than they hold themselves. Mm. That he might just be doing commercial mm. music yes. Yes. and feel good music, and he just wants to and make. Okay his, with that. He wants to make his molar, it's, and it's, that it is it. Deals and and fine. He yeah. doesn't care about mm -hmm. any form of legacy in terms of um, awards or recognitions mm -hmm. like that. So. There is also space yes, for um, for artists who are clearly uninterested in quality. <laughs> uh, guys, all right. So the yeah. Grammy Awards. Is, I mean, we are going to be talking about this for the rest of our lives. I mean, Burner Boy, Whiskey, congratulations. Nigerian music, congratulations. African music as a whole. But then we've really break it down and brought it back home. Please, if you're doing music, that's the point where when you look at them win, you'll be like. 
I can do that. And I think that that's, that's all we really want to, for you guys to be inspired by. It's not like, you know, go on and be insulting Bonner Boy. He himself has been insulting. He's been on the rant on Twitter. <laughs> and know? I liked it. <laughs> you know, so you Daddy did it on his own. And everybody was like, okay, Didi did it on you, for you. <laughs> but that's okay. A win is a win. A win is a win, is a win. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Africa won, so we are glad. But however, what do you think about the Grammy win for Whiskey and Bonner Boy? And who in Cameroon do you think can win their Grammy. Please drop your comments on the comment section below. And stay out of trouble. But meanwhile, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on all social media platforms. See you soon. Ricky Table is brought to you by Nikki Hits Beauty Studio, Bona Musadi, Duala, and Jungle Hawk, Boya. Jungle Studios, which is located at Solidarity Junction, Boya, for all your photography and photography.